Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Siki again. I'm Jago Funny Lungu. And we are Funny and Jesse. So today we're gonna react to <laughs> Christian missionary attempts to explain Christianity to doctors like at night. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. Can you hear me? I got to know you yesterday and I tried to watch some of your videos on YouTube and I try as much as possible to listen to you today when you speak. So I respect your faith and being a veteran in the faith. So sir, I'm not here to compete with you as a veteran and I'm not here to argue because I know this issue that we are actually talking about has led Yes, sir. I'm not giving speech. Okay, so the question I want to ask is that would there be a way that there is going to be a generation or this our generation that we are going to come to the position of uniformity of faith? That's all. Thank you. You will ask a very good question. That is there going to be a time in our generation where there will be uniformity of faith? Yes, there will be. Quran says that. When will we all believe in one faith? Today we know because people are misguiding and there has to be to know what is truth. You have to verify. That's what has come. So we believe as I told you Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim unless he believes in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Does the church say you have to believe in Prophet Muhammad? No. So, only the uniformity can come. We believe in all the prophets of mentioned in the Bible. We only tell you, take one step forward. Believe in Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad has been prophesied in the Bible. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 12, verse number 29. In the Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16. He's also prophesied in the New Testament. He's prophesied in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse number 16. In the Gospel of John chapter number 16 verse number 11. In the Gospel of John chapter number 16 verse number 7. In the Gospel of John chapter number 16 verse number 11 to 14. I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself, all that he shall he speak. So for uniformity, there should be similarities. So only way you can get uniform is by following the true teachings of Jesus Christ, not the teaching of the church. So if you study the Bible analytically and follow the Bible only, not the church, not putting words and trying to say Jesus said he's God, never really said that. Because of this wrong teaching of the church, there can never be uniformity. In Islam, I cannot be a Muslim until I believe Jesus is a messenger, until Adam is a messenger, until Moses is a messenger. I have to believe. So uniformity is coming from Islam side, not from the church. And will it happen? Yes, it will happen. I ended my speech by quoting a verse of the Quran, which is mentioned thrice. In Surah Tawbah chapter 9, verse number 33. In Surah Fatah chapter 48, verse 28. And Surah Saf chapter 61, verse number 9. Who was the Arsal Rasul of Biluda? What did you know? Leave us here, what did you know? What did you know? That Allah sent his messenger. Prophet Muhammad with guidance and the of truth so that it will prevail over all the other religions, all the other isms, whether it be atheism, communism, socialism, Christianism, Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam is destined to supersede all, Kulle, master them all. How much the idol worshippers don't like it. And enough is Allah the witness. And the hadith says there will be a time before the world ends. For seven years, Islam will rule the world. For seven years. Whether it will happen after five years, after ten years, after fifty years, I don't know. But there will be a time when the world will be very peaceful for seven years. That is the saying of the Prophet. 
whether it happened after 5 years, 10 years, 30 years, I don't know. But it's going to happen. Hope that answers the question. Brother, do you believe that God is one? Do you believe God is one? Do you believe Jesus is God or is the messenger of God? He is no God. But no, that means you didn't listen to my talk. You heard the you heard my question answer with the earlier person. And that's something. Did you? I heard it. But didn't I tell you no way that Jesus said he's God? No way. Correct. Correct. There are two Lord. One can be Lord or human being, no problem. But Lord as God, no. You know, we call, like how you go in UK. UK to title, you give Lord so and so. So that's Lord, no problem. You go to the court and you call the judge, me Lord. No problem. So there are two types of Lord. One is human being Lord, one is God Lord. You call him human being, you call him God. I'm asking you in English language when you open the dictionary. In English, brother, look at here. English, English language. If you open the dictionary, Lord has two meanings. One is human being, like the judge, a respected person, you call him Lord, no problem. The second meaning is God. So are you talking Jesus Christ, the respected human being, or is he God? Yeah, um, if you are talking about his earthly work, we can refer to him as Lord, but there is also a divinity dimension of him being Lord. Lord of our I That means you are it. just like the other people. Heard. I gave you so many references. My father is greater than all. My father is greater than I. I can of my own self do nothing. I can of my own self do nothing, Jesus Christ said. I can do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. For I seek the will of my father. All these verses clearly show that he was a human being. He was not God. So why do you want to give divinity to him? No problem. Thank Sir, you. I that think means you, you don't you want the world. Question. You don't want the world to unite. You don't want the world to unite. You are you are disuniting the world. You are disuniting the world. I have come here to unite the world. People like you, they disunite the world. The Bible doesn't say God, yet you want to say God. So you are helping those people who don't want to unite the world. No, I am a die. Nowhere did Jesus say he's God. Neither in the Quran, neither in the Bible. Yet, Christians like you, you want to disunite humanity. I'm sorry to say, you may respect me, but I don't respect you. Because you are here to disunite the human being. When Jesus is very clearly saying in the Bible, in the Quran, Allah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum, my Lord and your Lord. Yet you say, Jesus is Lord. Thank you, brother. The most welcome. Next question. Sir. Thank you. I told you I understand. Unless you don't change sir. your statement, you can go, please. Can we have the next question, please? <laughs> what do you think? Um I really look forward to a world <laughs> where um People unite, you understand? Yeah. I think that. <laughs> but it came with terms and conditions. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's a funny one. Yeah, he is. I just hope one day the world actually works together as one. Yeah. Don't you think maybe if we had no religion, we'd, we wouldn't have all these things? Yeah. And these separations as, okay, you belong to this tribe, you belong to this country. Yeah, it's true would be doing much better yeah because his son is as fiery as him most likely hmm. you feel like father like son no i mean ex the case. exactly my sentiments the thing is i mean we should all unify but again you know we're being told about um uniformity of religion but there's one thing that is coming at a very great uh, uh pace that we might not even realize but there's what we call the ai you know so 
the artificial intelligence is actually coming and there's so much distraction that people don't even realize that one day we are going to go into what we call singularity and that's where we are heading to and all all the religions and everything that people believe now is going to be rendered a thing of the past do you understand or maybe things that um, they used to be and then all of a sudden just disappeared do you understand so um, my, my point precisely is it's good if we have one faith and then we all come together and understand that hey we are all humans and we don't have to treat each other because this one belongs to another label this has a label so we can't be in one uh, big table together and discuss things you understand anyway there is um what do you call this the, the there's so much that is going on to a point where you start thinking of us coming together as a as one religion is going to take time but one thing i i'm, I'm thinking is going to go in too fast is the ai the artificial intelligence is going to come in whether you like it or not you're going to find yourself in it because it's, it's like we're being programmed it's like uh what do you call this it's a predictive programming to everybody even the pastors even the religious leaders out there you'll find them some of them use ipads nowadays though yeah, even that's really odd they understand people yeah. just have to accept that that's what's happening yeah but what do you think about the ending remarks of Dr. the ending remarks was like you know what brother if you're not accepting the fact that uh you want to unify the world and you you need to accept that this is what it is if you're not accepting what I'm trying to make you understand, scrum, <laughs> leave. <laughs> that was a good question, though. Yeah, that 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 was a, that, that was a good good question, but uh, again, everybody knows who Dr. Zaki Naik is. You have to conform to his uh, ideology. No, not if you don't want to. <laughs> Do you understand? If you don't, then you have to leave the stage. He owns no, if the you stage. go in, if you go in thinking like that, you won't learn anything. Do you understand? Yeah, so despite all the craziness that he adds, I think I, I, there's I need, still something you have to learn from what he's I'm saying. I'm here to 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 find a person who can really challenge him. But the thing is, you can't challenge him because you don't own the stage. So as much as you want to challenge him, he will always say like the guy was all go, and there was a guy standing there telling me, brother, just leave. So you don't have the, the chance. I think if, anyway, maybe one day we can find, even if it's not just on the podium here, maybe someone can come up with a video and trying to explain one or two things. I'm sure there are videos out there. Just let us, just link the videos in the comment section below. We'll react to that. But all in all, uh, yes, we have to unify so that we can fight the devil. We can fight the evil ones. That's the most important thing. Yeah. But before then, the AI is going to creep in really slowly and everybody is going to find themselves. Let us know what you guys think about this video, the question and how it was answered. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video. Deuces.